not for the first time do we see that a mullah gets away with hate speech. I'm also going to show you what happened in the case of Akbaruddin Uwaisi. We all know that one statement he made, right? So they have the system in place. Now, how does one break the system? You know, at this point of time, the Indian public still thinks that they can get justice in a court. I think they are being sorely tested right now. I don't know when this is going to break, when the people will deliver justice. I don't mean to be somebody who is, uh, uh, you know, saying bad things here, but once blood boils, when you see the kind of treatment that is being meted out, Nupur Sharma, who was speaking facts, still has to be guarded. Whereas the rascal, the scoundrel, and bunch of others, murderers, they are all walking scot free. That is justice for you in India. And then what Mr. Barack Obama says, or Ilhan Omar, Rashida, all these lumpens, what do they say? That the minorities are in danger in India. Minorities, my foot. These people need to go get their heads examined, I tell you. Anyway, this is just my rant. Let's get back to what happened in a court in Rajasthan. This is according to Rahul Shiv Shankar, and thank you, Rahul, for sharing the, the tweet. I'm going to put the link to the tweet as well as some other backdrop information so you guys can read that to get the full lowdown on this. The preacher who uttered Sar Tan Se Juda walks free. A Rajasthan court acquitted Ajmer Darga cleric and five others accused of raising Sar Tan Se Juda slogan against Nupur Sharma in 2022. You know, the whole world saw this video multiple number of times. but Evidently, that evidence is not sufficient for the court. In fact, there is more interesting stuff coming down the pipeline. So stay tuned till the very end. So the prosecution's case couldn't be proven because the only witnesses in the case were the police themselves. You know, sometimes the police take money and botch it up. I have no, uh, no doubt in saying sometimes these things happen. That people who are supposed to discharge their duty, they don't do that. Because somebody has already ordained that thou shalt walk free. And it, this happens to be surprisingly in the case of many minority communities. All those, this is a request for all those of you who get outraged when a minority gets even touched upon by uh, a member of the majority in India. You know, you guys should, anyone start saying this thing on Twitter or any other social media platform, I request all our viewers to take this video and send the link to this video and say, see for yourself how well they are being treated. Because this nonsense has got to stop. And, and the judiciary, I don't know what they were thinking. They did not want to accept the electronic evidence saying that it was inconclusive. Well, now people are starting to say, oh, the new act takes care of that. You know, the electronic evidence can be taken as being conclusive. Then they'll say that AI modified it, that this is not the real thing. My statements were taken out of context. This thing will go on, guys. The point here is that everybody seems to think that they can get away with literally murder. This is the mindset going on in the minority's mind. And just to preempt the majority from actually applying the law to them, they start screaming, uh, you know, minorities are in danger in India. And, and the Christians also tend to ride on this one. And I'm warning them, don't do this thing because you are just as badly affected by this minority as the Hindus are. So please apply your mind before you make these statements. In fact, a retired admiral said something like this on a TV channel. And, and Mohan Das Pai took him to the streets, cleaned him out. So these things are, uh, you know, nonsense. Anyway, so this is just that case, unfortunate that Nupur could not find justice in a court. And then what happened in a Hyderabad court? This was because of the uh, Akbaruddin OIC statements, where he said, in, this is in a place called Nirmal, I think it is in the district of Nizamabad. What he had said was, remove the police for 15 minutes off the street and see what we can do, right? So this one, also the guy said that he found no evidence to categorize Akbaruddin's remarks as hate speech. If I say this thing, are you going to take the same view? I wonder. Anyway, so this, what had happened in this case is even more interesting. There were, so there, there were many people, the police had lined up as witnesses. 
these were members of the minority community, all of them backed out before it uh, came in front of a judge. But there were two Hindus who were also present there and the judge was not willing to take their evidence as testimony. Can you believe that? So there is, there is no question of just looking at a video and saying there is no sufficient evidence. This judge refused to accept the testimony of two Hindus who saw that. So right now I am telling you the sense of justice in India is becoming very, very tenuous. And, and it's not good, guys. And these three laws may improve things, but the system needs is rotten to the core. The system needs cleaning up from inside. I don't know when that's going to happen. Already people are beginning to say, look, one month has elapsed. There's no action on the streets. So I don't know what the Modi government has in mind. It's just my duty to tell everyone that this is what is happening in India. This judgment came down just a few days ago. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.